welcome back to my channel, Knitting by the Bay. My name is Christy, and this is my little place on YouTube where I like to talk about fiber arts, mainly knitting, sometimes um, sewing, sometimes cross stitch, sometimes books that I'm reading, whatever I'm into at the moment. So thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, today's episode is going to be a regular podcast style episode where I'm going to talk about some of my finished objects. I have two of them. Um, as well as some of my works in progress and some future cast-ons that I have in mind, as well as a finished sewing project and a few acquisitions. I hope everybody had a nice holiday weekend this past weekend, whether you celebrate Easter or not. Um, I It was actually my birthday as well this weekend, so on Friday, Good Friday, was um, also my birthday. So I went to my mom and my stepdad had all the family over for dinner to celebrate Easter as well as celebrating my birthday. Um, so that was really nice. And I got a few um, really nice gifts from people that are, um, I wouldn't say knitting related, but I am going to use some of them in my knitting. So I'll show those uh, to you later on in the episode as well as my husband gave me a gift of being able to go and pick out some yarn. He didn't pick it out for me because I wouldn't like that. <laughs> but um, he uh, gave me some money so that I could go and pick out some new yarn. And I ended up casting on a new um, sweater for on my birthday. So I'm going to share that with you as well. And what else did we do? We uh, On the weekend we went and went to this um, nice used bookstore in our town, which is really great. We picked up a lot of books from there. Um, so I'm going to share with you what we got um, from there as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please stick around and um, let's get started. My first finished object is the sweater that I'm wearing. And this is the Champagne Cardigan, which is by Petite Knit. And I finished this actually quite a while ago, probably about a month, month and a half ago. And I've just been waiting for these buttons to arrive. And actually, these are not the original buttons that I ordered. The original buttons that I ordered um, still have not shown up. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's happened to those. So I ended up having to go and get some other um, buttons. But these ones um, worked out pretty good. They are sort of like a, a shell sort of, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what you call them. And uh, yeah, when I put this on today to film, I realized that I put this bottom button on um, upside or the wrong side. So I have to go in and fix that. <laughs> I don't know how I how I missed that. But yeah, it's it's backwards. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my champagne cardigan. Um, I don't love this finished object and the reason I don't love it is because I feel like it's kind of, it looks a bit sloppy to me and I don't know if that's just my, um, how I knit it up <laughs> and, um, didn't do the greatest job. This is my first time doing this sort of, um, double knitted, um, button band. So I wouldn't say it's the greatest job. Um, but it was my first time, and so I'm, I'm oh, like, pleased with it. Um, but I wouldn't say that it's the neatest job. Um, and I don't know. I don't love the oversized, like, how oversized this is with the arm hole depth is, like, really, really <laughs> quite big. And I, I don't love that look. And I also don't know if that's because, like, I did a gauge swatch. For this sweater and I got stitch gauge but um, my row gauge is always much bigger than what it's supposed to be so I think that that probably has something to do with this um, being such a big raglan um, sleeve here so anyway I don't know I I don't hate it I definitely will wear it but it wasn't exactly it didn't turn out exactly how I had in mind but anyway, I do like the yarn. I think maybe it's a bit too bright, the blue. Um, this is Cascades 220 Superwash in the color just blue. Um, and yeah, I like it. I don't know. It's the first time that I've worn something like this bright blue. So it might take some getting used to. 
But other than that, um, yeah, it turned out okay. My second finished object is also a petite knit pattern and it's the terrazzo sweater. And I absolutely love the way that this one turned out and I'm gonna put some pictures up of uh, myself wearing it so you can see how it looks on. Um, but I absolutely love this one. This one is just, you know, knit top down in the round. Um, it's the picture has you like shows it with a turtleneck, like a folded over turtleneck, um, which I was going to do originally. And then I just like, once I was knitting this, you go back and you pick up stitches for the collar and I started knitting, knitting up the collar and I really liked it at sort of a mock neck length so i um cast off at that point and then i tried it on and i really didn't like the way that the collar felt on my neck so i ended up um, folding it over and stitching it down um, but i really i really like this height now i find it's like very very comfortable such a comfortable sweater to wear and what i like about it too is that it's not like super oversized um, it fits like a little bit of ease but not not super big um, and I really like the sleeves on it the sleeves I like the tapering of the sleeves they're like the perfect fit in my opinion I just really really like them um, also so you're doing at the bottom you have a really big long uh, ribbing here at the bottom and the sleeves are even longer of ribbing and it's done with half half twisted rib so when i went to do the bottom ribbing i made a very <laughs> big mistake on this and because this was the first time i've done half twisted rib and for some reason like what what you're going to do is you're going to do your half twisted ribbing um, until you get to the right length and then you're going to bind off with an italian bind off so the last two like you'll have two setup rows before you start your italian bind off and for some reason, my eyes just went to those two setup rows. And that's what I did for the entire, well, not the entire ribbing, but a lot of the ribbing, I got about two, two and a half inches of ribbing done. And I'm thinking, why is this taking so long <laughs> for me to do the ribbing? But it looked really good. It was like very thick. And it was reminding me a lot of the double knitting that I did for the uh, button band here. Um, but it was looking really good. <laughs> it just looked very, um, yeah, very thick. And then I realized my mistake was that I was doing the setup row for the Italian bind off and not the um, actual, like, um, what you do is you um, knit through the back loop and then you purl. But you're, you're only knitting through the back loop. You don't purl through the back loop because you're, on, you're only going to see it on this one side. So it doesn't matter about the other side um yeah so i had to go and like rip that all out um but it was good because i'm getting more practice now with ripping out my knitting when i've made a mistake in the past i would have either just said oh you know i would have just stopped knitting it or i would have just continued on and just did it with the mistake in there and now i want to be able to like fix my mistakes go back and take the time to fix the mistakes so uh, yeah, so that was good practice for doing that. And then when you're doing the turtleneck, you are supposed to when you're supposed to be folding it over because it's a folded over turtleneck. So for that part, you're doing um, twisted ribs. So you're knitting and purling through the back loop. Um, so I ended up doing that until I got to the because I thought I was going to be doing a turtleneck. Um, but I didn't actually need to be doing that because I ended up <laughs> folding it over and sewing it, but it really doesn't matter. It still looks the same. So, um, yeah, I'm super happy with the way that this one turned out. This one, again, I use cascades, um, cascades 220. It's not a super wash. Non, it's a non super wash wool and it's in the color pine growth. And I really love this green because it is like, it's a very deep dusty green but it kind of leans towards blue um you probably can't see that on the video but it's such a nice color green this is like now my favorite color green i think so that is it for my finished objects
So now I want to talk about some of my works in progress. I have quite a few going on right now. So my first one is my Alpine Bloom. Bloom. This is a pattern by uh, Caitlin Hunter or Boyland Knitworks. And this is what I've got so far. This guy is going to be um, hibernating because I'm not really happy with this, how this is turning out. Uh, the first thing is that the main color here is um, the alpaca wool that I picked up at the um, alpaca farm. It's a beautiful, very soft in the hands wool, but to be honest, when I put it against my skin, it's super prickly. So I, I don't know that I would love to wear this sweater, to be honest, and I'm not loving the color on me. Um, and I also don't like that the color work is done with, I think it's a sport weight yarn. And I believe that the um, alpaca is a fingering weight yarn. So it's not, um, it's kind of puffing out quite a lot here with the color work. And I don't really like that. I'm sure it'll, um, you know, flatten out more with blocking, but I don't know. I don't really, I don't love it. <laughs> And I made it quite cropped on purpose. Um, and I do like that. And when I tried it on, I do like the shape of this one. And I would be interested in making this one again, but doing it with a different yarn. Um, I've seen some really pretty ones that have like color changing yarns, like spin cycle yarns. And um, there's one that I really like the color of. It is called The Saddest Place, and I thought that would look really pretty as the color work and like a light gray as the main color. So I don't know. I might keep that in mind. Um, I also might come back and finish this one. I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm just putting it to rest. It's going to hibernate for a little while. My next work in progress is a pair of socks. So I wanted to show you something that I, one of my birthday gifts that I got from my sister, um, which is this really pretty um, makeup bag, like toiletry bag. And as soon as I opened this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this for knitting. <laughs> my sister's like, yeah, I kind of thought that that might happen and that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really pretty um, bag and I thought it would be a perfect, um, bag for sock knitting so i have my a pair of socks that i'm working on right now and these are the drk everyday socks by andrea mowry and this is what i've got done so far so these ones look pretty uh funny because they are ribbed so they are a two by two rib. So they, they shrink up and they look pretty funny, but I've made them before. Um, probably, I think I've made about four or five pairs and they fit so nice. So I really like um, these, this pattern. Um, this is actually the only pattern that I've tried so far for socks. So I don't really have anything to um, judge, like compare them to, but I really, really like doing this pattern. I'm using this um, yarn from Knit Picks, which is called um, Hawthorne, and the color is Vancouver. And it's a really pretty um, color changing yarn. There is mainly green, teal, and purple. And this teal color is my son's absolute favorite color. His bedroom is painted like a really bright um, aqua or teal color. Um, so I thought that that would look really nice with in the sock. So, and then I'm using this one here, which is also Knit Picks Gloss, and mm, it's the color Kanai. And this one is a darker teal. That's really pretty. I thought it looked really nice together with uh, the Vancouver. Yeah, so that is um, my second finished object. So what I'm doing right now is I, I want to knit a lot of a lot more socks, especially over the summer when I might not be knitting as many like big sweaters. I thought socks would be fun. You can take them in the car 
um, to knit on or, you know, sporting events or where, whatever you're doing in the summer. So I really, I want to knit a lot more and then have them ready for, you know, the fall. Um, so also what I wanted to do was I, I've seen on Andrea Mowry's um, podcast that she does like she walks and knits a lot and I really wanted to get into that as well um, and I have a I like to walk on my treadmill so I thought if I have a sock project to work on while I'm walking on my treadmill um, that would be a lot of fun and you know I find it kind of boring walking <laughs> just walking on the treadmill so if I have a project like this um, yeah, it makes it a lot, it makes it go by a lot faster. And then I also listen to an audio book at the same time. So I like to combine <laughs> my hobbies together. So getting like going for a walk, listening to a book and knitting at the same time is like wonderful to me. <laughs> so that is my second work in progress. My third whip is the Billy Pullover by Sari Nordland. And this is what I've got done so far. I have to find which is the front. Yeah. And this is a beautiful cabled um, pullover, all over cables. And yeah, it's... Um, working on very slowly in my opinion it feels like I've been working on this for a while and I still only have like you know not a lot done and it's a very very thick fabric this sort of honeycomb cabling is very thick I know it'll soften up after blocking but yeah um but I'm really enjoying it I feel I find with this pattern though I really have to pay attention yeah, there's a lot of different sections to the pattern. Um, and then you're doing increases in certain areas and not in other areas. And it's a lot to, you have to really focus on it. For me, I do anyway. <laughs> and, but I'm really liking it so far. I'm knitting this one with Cascades 220 Superwash in the color Colonial Blue Heather. And I really love this blue. It's very deep dusty blue again which leans towards more of a purple um i i love it i use this color when i knit my soldatna crop by caitlin hunter um in the main part of the the sweater and then when i saw the pattern for billy the billy pullover i thought that would look really beautiful in this blue um so i picked up some of that and i just have to check my notes about this so I ha actually had to start over on this sweater about three times because I kept messing up the increases. It took a little, it took a little while, and then the third time I'm like, okay, you really got to focus on this. <laughs> and then it's it it was okay after that. Um, and then once you get into the groove of it, it gets a lot easier. It's a staggered start. Is that what you call it? Staggered start neckline. So you're knitting back and forth on the back, and then you are gradually increasing at the front until the two sides here are close to meeting up, and then you will um, cast on stitches in the middle to join it. Um, so instead of doing short rows, this is a different way of doing that so that the neck comes up higher, which I really like. Um, because I find that, you know, I've I only had to do it once before, but doing short rows within a cable pattern for me is very, <laughs> like, very tricky. So this is a lot easier to do it this way. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this one so far. And my fourth work in progress right now is my birthday cast on. So I ended up getting... These two yarns from Knit Picks. This is Knit Picks palette in white. And then this one is um, called Opal Heather. And this one has like a teal green, dark teal green and purple like heathered throughout. It says on the website that there's like yellow in it and pink in it, 
but I really don't see those colors. I see just like a teal, uh, you know, bluish color and some purple, but it's really pretty. It almost looks like sort of iridescent. Um, and I really like that um, combination with the white. And I decided to cast on something that is just like a joyful knit, I thought. I, I think it's definitely more of a statement piece and it might be a sweater that I don't get a lot of wear out of. I don't know. Um, but I really wanted to knit it just for the joy of knitting color work because I love, I love knitting color work and I wanted to see the way that this um, pattern uh, knit up. So it's called, this one is called the Flower Cardigan by Sandness Garn. And I'll put a picture of what it looks like. Um, and it's a beautiful all over color work sweater. Um, with just flower motif and so i'll show you what i've got done so far so that's like one repeat of the flower and it's knit bottom up in the round and then it's a cardigan so it'll be steaked which i've never done before so this will be my first time um trying to steak a sweater so what you do, and this is actually a free pattern on Santa's Garn website. So um, yeah, it's not a paid pattern, it's free. Um, and what you do is you just, you cast on the stitches for the ribbing and you work back and forth um, but on, uh, it's one by one ribbing until I think it's about four centimeters of ribbing. And then you cast on for your steaking stitches um, here and they suggested that you cast on four, no, five stitches for steaking. But I read through a lot of the projects on the Ravelry page, and a lot of people said that they felt like that wasn't enough, um, enough stitches there. So I ended up casting on eight stitches. It really doesn't matter, you just don't include those obviously in the color work, you just knit however many there and then continue on your. And then you join it in the round and you start doing your color work in the round. Um, so, so far, uh, I've had a bit of trouble. There's like, I think you have to cast on close to 300 stitches. And I had, like, I counted and I recounted and I probably counted at least three times. And I thought I had the right amount of stitches. And then when I went to start on the color work, of course, I didn't have the right number of stitches for whatever reason. I don't think I dropped any. I think I actually had more stitches than I was supposed to have. So I had to, because basically you're all, you're going to like, once you're done your ribbing and you join it in the round, then you're going to decrease evenly um, through the one row to get down to whatever your size says that you should have. So I had to sort of change um, the decreases there. And I used um, a knitting calculator on the website World Knits. It's World Knits Knitting Calculator um, to be able to figure out how to decrease um, evenly. I did have somebody asking me about that for my Kinsella pullover, how, how I did different decreases for that and that's what I use that knitting calculator online so that's about what I have so far and I'm really really enjoying this I'm enjoying having all different kinds of patterns I completely failed at my new year's resolution of being a monogamous knitter um, but that's okay because I'm <laughs> really enjoying this and this is supposed to be for fun so it doesn't matter so right now I have a sock project going, I have a cable project, I have a color work project, and I'm going to be casting on something else as well um, at the end of this week, which I'm going to talk to you about in, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm liking having all of those different options. If I feel like one type, I can pick that up and whatever. So now I wanted to talk about some of the acquisitions that I've uh, picked up this month, either through um, some gifts from my family and some things that I picked up myself. Uh, one of the things which I need right now is some water. And this is a beautiful mug. Oh. How do I do this? A beautiful mug 
that my sister gave me for my birthday and it's got butterflies and flowers on it. And I thought it was so pretty. And she also gave me another, a water bottle that is also with flowers. And I think that this one is so pretty too. Um, she said the theme for my birthday this year was flowers, <laughs> which it is because my flower bag, flower uh, water bottle, flower mug, um, and some other things as well that she gave me that had flowers on them, some tea towels and stuff. So I was very happy to get that. I love getting a new mug and this one's so pretty for spring. So super happy with that. All right, and then also because I wanted to knit a lot more socks um, this summer, I picked up some more sock yarns. And green is also my favorite color, so <laughs> they're all some shade of green. So this one I got, these are all from Knit Picks. So this one is also Hawthorne, and it's in the color Foster Powell, Foster Powell. And it's a different, different shades of green in there. And this one's going to be for my husband. And I picked up this one, which is um, Stroll. And this is the color Base Camp Hand Painted. And that I also got this one, which is Gloss. And this is the color Pine. And that's just a solid dark green. And I thought that that would look really nice as a contrasting color for um, this one. And also for this one for my husband. I thought that that would look really nice. And I plan to do the DRK Everyday Socks by Andrea Mowry for these as well. Um, but I might change my mind. I'm not really sure. Um, if you guys have any of your favorite sock patterns, I'd love it if you left it in the comments. And I'll check it out because... Yeah, I'd like to really get into knitting some more um, different socks and some basic sock patterns would be great to have in my uh, in my favorites. So now I wanted to talk to you about my uh, future plans. So I was watching one of my favorite podcasts, a hand knit letter, a hand knit letter. And she was talking about how she picked up this book, um, I think from a used bookstore, I'm not really sure, but she picked it up. It's called Knit One, Kill Two, and it's a knitting mystery novel. And she was saying how she thought it would be fun to have a um, knit along uh, with while we like we read the book and then we knit. And um, in the book, there's actually a knitting pattern. Uh, for a vest and there's a recipe for um, cinnamon rolls. So she was like, she's decided that she's going to be doing, making the cinnamon rolls and knitting the vest from the book. But she said, you don't have to do either of those if you don't want to, or you can knit a different pattern if you want. Um, I think basically the main thing is that we're gonna read this book that is probably gonna be pretty fun maybe a little <laughs> silly i don't know i don't know what to expect but i think it'll be fun a fun knit along i've knit this will be my first knit along ever that i've participated in so i think it'll be fun i picked it up from my library actually i didn't pick it up i downloaded the audiobook for it so i i think that'll be fun to listen to while i'm knitting at the same time and i've decided to do a different uh vest not the one in the book i'm going to be doing smoke show and it's by um it's by thea coleman and it is a vest a button-up vest with cables and i thought it was really pretty i'll put a picture of what hers looks like um she did hers in a very dark wool so it's kind of hard to see the uh, cabling pattern um, but i thought it was really pretty i like the shape of it i think i'm going to make it with um maybe just like one inch of positive ease or or no positive ease. I'm not sure. I kind of want it to be, um, uh, you know, form fitting. Yeah, I think that that would look really nice. So I've decided to use my fisherman's wool that I've had in my stash for a while. 
Um, so this one is the color Brown Heather. And I thought that would look really nice in a uh, button-up vest with maybe some dark wood buttons. Um, yeah. This one is knit with the worsted weight yarn. And you're going to be knitting it flat back and forth. And then you're knitting as well the button band at the same time as you're going back and forth. And then you're going to separate when you get to, I guess, the, yeah, the two fronts and the back are going to be knit separately and then seam together afterwards. And then your button band that you're knitting at the same time is going to be, once you separate and you're knitting the, the two sides and the back separate, you're going to knit that button band up on both sides, just, just the button band. And then you're going to seam that together after and seam it all together. I don't know. It, I'm probably explaining it <laughs> very badly, um, but I thought it was a, an interesting construction. So I'm going to try that one out. And yeah, I'm excited for that. And I think I didn't even say that the knit along begins on April 5th, which I think is on Friday, which is probably the day that I'll be posting this video. So if you want to join in, you can join in with this. And I don't think it's going to be anything um, like I think it's going to be a pretty relaxed sort of <laughs> um, knit along and just for fun. So that's that's exciting. So that's it for my future casts on. So I have a sewing uh, project that I finished and I wanted to share that with you. It's my skirt. So this is a cute little um, like mini skirt and it snap, it has snaps on it to do it up. And it's made out of a sort of a corduroy, but it's very soft, like a velvety sort of corduroy. Um, with which has like sort of a, a sheen to it and I'll put a picture up of me wearing it so you can get a better, better idea of how it looks on but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I think I, I explained on my last um, podcast about doing the um, the piping for it and I think that the piping is quite thick and that probably has to do with, first of all, the piping that I used on the inside, as well as this fabric is quite thick as, as well. So I didn't love how much that sticks out. And it did get a bit wonky at the back. But, but it's not terrible. I still really like it. And I plan to wear it with, um, like I have a black uh, turtleneck sweater and some black tights and then my tall boots. And I really like the way that that looks. I'm, so I'm happy with this one and I will link below uh, what the pattern is. I can't remember right now. I believe it's a Berta pattern, but I can't remember the number, but I'll put it down below in the, in the description so you can check it out. This pattern you can make, there's the short version and then there's a long version that buttons up. Um, this one has snaps, that one has buttons and buttonholes and they both have pockets. So super cute. Now I just wanted to go through some of the books that I picked up. We went on the weekend to a used bookstore in our neighborhood. It's a really great bookstore because everyone that works there volunteers and all of the profits that they make from the books, um, book sales go towards their adult learner programs that they have. Um, so I think it's really great, um, a great place to go and get some books. They have a lot of books, a lot of new books coming in all the time. And the people, well, they're not new, they're used, but new to the store. And the people that work there are really great too. Both times that I've been recently, there's one woman there that she, she is so great. She just finds books for me the whole time. And if I say, oh, I like this one, then she'll go and find similar types of books. So I ended up getting about five of these are recommendations from her, which was awesome. She's so friendly and it was just like very helpful. <laughs> so I ended up getting a lot of books and we ended up spending, 
I think it was like, it was under $20 for all these books, like $17 or something. And I, you can get like, if you buy a certain number of books, you get a free book. So I got one free book. Um, so it was great. So I'll just share with you some of the, the ones I haven't started any of these yet. Um, but this one is called Black Cake. And this is a really nice hardcover book. It's by Charmaine Wilkerson. And I've heard, heard good things about this one. Uh, this one is Looking for Jane, and it's by Heather Marshall. And I was actually looking for this one because it was on a, one of the top reads lists or something. So I've been looking for this for a while, um, and they had this one out on display. So I grabbed that. And then the woman who worked in the shop, she recommended that I get the Alice Network, which I have heard about this one, and I haven't read it yet. It's by Kate Quinn. And this one, Educated by Tara Westover. And this is a memoir. And I've heard really good things about this one as well. And I picked up two books that are totally out of the norm for me. Um, they're in the fantasy genre, <laughs> which is totally not my type of thing. But I have heard really good things about these books. And so I kind of wanted to give them a chance and you know see if i like them but they're huge they're very very thick both of them and they are brandon sanderson's this is the way of the kings the way of kings and his other one words of radiance so i don't know if you've read these books and uh you have an opinion about them let me know um i might th i think maybe i'll um i think the Way of Kings is the first one. So this might be something that I read like in the summer, like a nice, uh, very, very long summer read. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't even read them. I don't know. But I thought they were both there and I wanted to grab them. And then also, this is another one that the woman at the store recommended. Well, she didn't recommend it. She just uh, found it in the shop for me because we were talking about it. She said she had just finished this and it's the color purple which I've been wanting to read because I've been, you know, wanting to read. I have a list of classic books that I want to read, and this is on it, obviously. And also because the movie came out, um, it just made me think of it again. So I was trying to find it on my library website, and it wasn't there. I couldn't find a book to borrow in the library. I couldn't find an audiobook, any of them. Um, they just didn't have it available, which I thought was really strange because especially since the movie just came out and it's a classic book. So I don't know why, but anyway, she found it for me. So I picked that one up as well. And yeah, that's, that's all of the ones that we, we got this weekend. So lots of good books for a really good price and also for a good cause. So I loved it. And then I wanted to share with you another book that I just finished that I really, really enjoyed. And this one I picked up from our regular little bookstore in town. And uh, it was one that the woman at the bookstore recommended to me. And she has also recommended a bunch of books to me that I've really enjoyed this past little while. So very thankful for that. But she recommended this one, which is called The Last One. And this is by Will Dean. And this is a really, like, it's a mystery um, novel. And it's such a fast read, like fast-paced read. Uh, the main character, she goes on a vacation on a cruise with her boyfriend. And they're having a great time and everything. They have dinner and stuff. And then they go to bed. And in the morning, she wakes up and he's gone. And then she goes out of her cabin and there's no one there. And she walks around the ship. There were, there were like thousands of people, I think. I can't remember how many people were on board, but there were a lot of people on board the night before. And then all of a sudden she wakes up in the morning and no one's on the ship. She's completely alone. This just kept my interest. Like I just wanted to keep reading, keep reading to figure out what happened because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine where everybody went all of a sudden in the middle of this cruise in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and yeah, so it's kept my interest for sure. So if you haven't read that one, I totally recommend it. You have to have a bit of an open mind with this. 
um, especially for the ending, but I really, really enjoyed it. So thanks so much for joining me. That's all I had to share with you today, but I hope you found some inspiration from some of these projects. If you're interested in joining along with the Knit One, Kill Two, Knit Along, um, that was posted on a hand knit letter. Um, and you can also search for that in Ravelry. And I'll put a link to it in the description below, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope to be back in the next um, couple of weeks with another roundup video and also another video coming soon with some more progress on my flower cardigan and my Billy pullover. So thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.